types of people at Christmas, those who are Santa for the right presents. And those who are Santa for the wrong presents. Instead of relying on Santa's elves to make sure you don't end up with the wrong present, go gift yourself now with the Platinum Package 4.0 Plus from Manscaped. Loads of little presents perfect for your small sack. Not that sack, that sack. Pick up a handful of Manscaped's liquid formulation, shampoos, body washes, upstairs and most importantly downstairs deodorants, gels, exfoliants, absolutely everything you'll ever need to keep everything down below clean and comfy. Also, know someone with nose hairs, what better way to subtly tell them to do something about it than giving them the weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. Custom Christmas crackers could be epic with the Shears 2.0 with a full kit of nail care with scissors, clippers, tweezers and nail fart. But the best way to say to someone politely, guarded by the geese of Christmas spirit, hey, sort your long nails out. Also, the body buffer for Manscaped is a scrubber that doesn't hold bacteria unlike other loafers looking after your skin, keeping it even smoother. But the crown jewel, the piece de resistance, the je ne sais quoi Christmas presents. Check your hat. Lorma 4.0, the only razor you'll ever need to boss your downstairs grooming, teeming with features. So go to manscaped.com forward slash fret and start adding to your basket everything you need to make your Christmas a great, clean and fresh feeling one. Or for someone else, there you can get 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com forward slash fret. Have a Manscaped Merry Christmas. And, uh, okay, that's Fred wrapped on the Manscaped for this year. Anyone staying for the rap party? <laughs> Because if I eat any more bad food, then <laughs> I eat enough bad food already. But because it's that time of year where you sort of eat whatever you'd like, treat yourself, be a little bit festive, I thought now's the chance to take advantage of this opportunity and bring out the eating ASMR video, which I suppose is always in my eyes, it's kind of a very different type of ASMR video, which I was supposed to the untrained eye. Eating ASMR videos could be perceived as, I don't know, a little bit different, but it's the subtle things that all the sounds make, especially the crispy chicken and anything that's crispy. And you know, it's satisfying as well. Those are very tingle inducing things for me. So I could more than happy you watch someone just eat food that they enjoy and get triggered from it. So that's what I hope that you're going to get today. And I don't know if this is in literally every KFC, but it's the KFC Christmas gravy, double gravy bucket or something like that. So I think this, it says it feeds four or six, one of the two. But Fred eats only for one man. So included are four chips. I did my humble opinion there and there for quite enough chips. So we have four fries included. We call them chips. And that's probably not enough for six people actually. Then we have hot wings. So these are going to be the ones that make your nose wet. And then we have popcorn chicken. And then we have chicken fillets in here as well. And then inside also are six chicken pieces. But of course, because it's a Fred KFC, it means we've got no thighs in there whatsoever. Well, we hope. Anyway, I ask for no thighs, but I tend to always get thighs. 
fries for some reason. And then we have gravy. I don't think I've had KFC gravy before. before. I think we've had beans. So I don't know what that's going to be like. And then our healthy part because this essentially is my breakfast because I haven't eaten anything uh, for today yet. So this is going to be the healthy thing. Maybe we should begin with the corner of the car. Have a little bit of water. Start the day right and then feast on the KFC and uh, enjoy throughout the rest of the day. So we've got quite a feast. Hope you're going to be nice and relaxed and you know chill and enjoy the easy videos as much as I do as much as I enjoy making them. So if I was to predict, my hunger levels tell me that I could easily eat all of this. I think about halfway around, I might start to struggle because that's probably you've eaten for two at that point already. So. so good. It's literally just a mouthful and then, then it's all good. So one of the things you might notice as well is that I have a bit of a microphone bonanza going on at the moment. So I've got my normal mic, hello there, and then my backup mic, hello there, and then my old school Eden mic, hello there, and same again, my new mic, hello there, my backup mic, hello there, and my old school microphone, hello there, and then my microphone on my camera. Oh, that does not sound that great. Okay, so what are we going to tackle first? I hear you are. Let me put that over here. So I think we should go just straight on the chicken and maybe dunk it a little bit in the gravy. That's what my stomach is telling me to do. Okay, let's just lay some chicken out there. Just because it looks. even though this stuff tastes absolutely amazing it's gonna get messy so just let it happen and just for a disclaimer when you make an ASMR video these are not my table manners I have very British, English table manners at the table, knife and fork. Here, I probably look like a beast I'm just going to town eating, which is effectively what we're doing anyway. I 
lot of these types of um, eating ASMR videos, I do think all the time, if someone didn't understand ASMR, which I think is pretty much everyone I know in real life, nobody gets it at all. But in context, microphone set up is sort of in a dark, relaxing environment. To me, I'm speaking directly to you. You get to a point, I suppose, where someone might be thinking, oh, it's just sitting there eating the KFC. Yes, but also I'm sitting there talking to you, eating the KFC, and enjoying the KFC. And no doubt, probably have similar interests because we both like KFC, and we both like ASMR, and we both like ASMR eating. So I always do think about stuff like that. I think about it, and then wave it off as it passes by. But if you're ordering a KFC and if it's with you or your friends, would you actually get a sharing thing like this? Or would you want one sharing thing by yourself? Your friend has a sharing thing or family or whatever. And then you share but have equal large quantity. I just can't imagine really sharing. Oh my gosh. Here we go. What did I ask for? No thighs. What does Fred get? The thighs. Come on, go see. This is not the good bit of chicken. Maybe some people like thighs, but I just don't like thighs at all. I mean, I do like them, but the breast is better. Yeah, we need ketchup. Emergency ketchup shift. Okay, we have the ketchup, but where to place it? There would be perfect. That could have gone a lot better. Okay. See what I mean? Impossible to have table manners. hot wings. They 
they taste good. I think it's always important to opt for a vaguely healthy thing whilst you have something that's probably not the healthiest thing for you. Doesn't mean it's not the most delicious. <laughs> This is the best piece of chicken, full thread anyway, it's like got no bones in there, it's just pure breast. Mm. And it tastes so good. recently actually it doesn't go up but I did the eating video as the rude English king and the theme was here the king was at a banquet you'll probably see the blooper come out because there were plenty and I was eating just basically I barbecued loads of food and made sure it's extra crispy then I had it on this big platter and I was literally just eating it but the, the theme it just wasn't quite there for me and I think I messed up that aspect of it for a bit the story wasn't where I wanted it to be so afterwards that all got cut <laughs> it wasn't coming on and I probably to eat one of these before I've completely stopped my face and I'm so full I can't eat anything else that's the ocean issue I have with the taste at the end of the KFC where I've eaten all the good things
this down bit keeps getting in the way. I've never coordinated this long before. I know some of you have noticed and the reasons behind it. But then a temptation after I filmed said video of what I need to film with the bird. The temptation is just to keep going and see how long I can get it before it looks just too ridiculous. <laughs> It's always nice, or maybe nicest on the drumstick. Because 
is the time of year you'd have turkey gravy, but then it's KFC. Duh. Now I feel like I've, I've sort of had my breakfast by this point. Pretty full. Bit of a full breakfast. Now I'm about to stop. Lunch on. But I know what would make this infinitely better. Gorking down fizzy drinks whilst eating a big fish. Probably not too ideal. Six chicken fillets in there, but I can't have eaten four. This is my fourth one. Now. pieces four fillets chips three corn so I think we're at the point of probably eating for one person oh and two hot wings as well so that's probably one person's portion like four portion I'd say <laughs> we'll save you Let's give a little break to the bucket. I mean, it always just says a lot about what you're eating, like your quantity that you're going to eat a bucket of chicken. Mm. <laughs> it sounds great to me. sure if I've actually ever got a burger from KFC. Do they do burgers? Chicken burgers? Or chicken wraps or something? I had a wrap. They're really good. But a burger, if they do do chicken burgers, never had it. I've always been, if you've, on the assumption if you've been to KFC, it's because you want chicken.
such charming sounds. <clears throat> it's fillet time, not fillet. Peas, chicken peas. So that chicken piece, which I like, is basically a bit bigger version of that, minus the wing. So, I think this is the first time, usually when I make these, I go out, buy it, and then drive like a maniac home. But by the time I'm back, it's always cold. But this time, I'm literally sitting here. Which is mad. And it's all nice and hot and cooked and lovely. Like I'm already on a mad gas heat. Saying that when Thor Love and Thunder came out, I think KFC was doing a bit. advertising and I don't know if you would have seen it but they asked if they could use one of my videos of me eating KFC saying something like looks like Thor or something or I don't know what it was or this is not the Thor you're looking for <laughs> but it was cool the KFC reached out and wanted to do something because we all know I love KFC but then I love lots of food <laughs> the only thing that probably would prevent me from having it often is that I'm currently on my biscuit digestive addiction again it's literally one pack of chocolate digestive biscuits dunked into hot chocolate every night and what's bad about that is that I used to do that when I went to the gym and I'd go to the gym and justify it but that was in end of March 2019 Probably should stop that a little bit. I probably should go to the gym again. That was really nice. Tasted like it was roasted. for you like-minded food ASMR lovers I was thinking about doing an ASMR video where it's kind of like a I know I've done it before like with bacon but a cooking one camera right up to the cooking like close and with microphones make something really crispy eat as we go along but the setup for it, it would be complicated. And 
always think if you make something yourself I don't know about you but I don't get the same satisfactions I would get or maybe interest as actually just getting a big KFC like this and feasting the hot wings are really good always used to leave them just before they are gone on the cob so at the end they're really good I really wanted them to say some crisp on there. I can't get enough of that gravy, it's so good. You know what's gonna taste great in that gravy? Oh, chicken. So we had six hog wings, six chicken fillets, six chicken pieces, a large popcorn chicken with gravy. So we've definitely eaten for two people about now, minus the chips. Coming to the end of lunch, I'd say. This time of year, or maybe it's not mandatory, but at all, but you just feel so full. And you kind of get used to the aggressive expansion of your stomach. But what's bad about that is that when you digest and then start to get hungry again, you get really hungry, like really <laughs> twice as much. Don't know about you, that's definitely me. I forgot we didn't have any vegetables for lunch, so. Is it that KFC corn on the cobs tastes so goddamn good? Why did I just get one? Hmm? evaluate a little bit here so 
I think that we have moved on to dinner and I think that we will start going for that popcorn chicken which has been sitting there staring at me have those tiny sachets of ketchup which last for a mouthful if there was some small bottles of ketchup there then it would be perfect <laughs> So you know that the skin is going to be so good. Oh, so good. We should go for a massive chicken fillet here. Or a small chicken fillet. Or we can go for the hot wings. But one thing is for sure, mate. I will not be touching those thighs. Or eating, shall we say. Chicken just it never satisfies me at all. Thighs, you might love thighs. I think the only way I'd like them is if they're on the barbecue. And they're cooked, but cooked to perfection. And when I say perfection, I mean Fred perfection. So they've got to be overly done and then the meat becomes very dry and yeah that's when they're very much consumable and enjoyed by me then I love them but I don't think they're quite there yet you can hear for me that's not done enough for me that's why I don't really get thighs <laughs> we pop them there and I think the taste always tastes just a little bit different uh, than the other chicken, like the, the leg is as far out as I'd like to veer off from the tasty chicken breast taste that I love and ask for every time as well. Fred 
should you stop? When did it become enough for you? There are like those mukbang videos where people eat, I don't even know what it is. Is it like rice paper? I think. All extravagant things like food, which you've probably seen a thousand times. But if they eat it often, how? How can they keep eating it? Like at this point, once I fill myself up with KFC, I'm good for KFC for a while. Like I can feast, but when I feast, I feast. But then, but then I need to pause and go on a walk or something. So, at what point do you stop, Fred? I think I'm going to treat him for about three people. But that's how good it is, I'm afraid. See, they probably have breakfast and start the day right with healthy food. I don't know why I didn't do that. Just moved straight in on the KFC. It's like I'm, I'm full, but I'm also hungry still. Is that because I'm seeing? Okay. 
KFC feast is because it's a Christmassy thing. I suppose the only thing that's making it Christmassy is the gravy, chicken gravy. Is it gonna work? It was too close. eating keeping it festive but in an eating style literally with two pots of gravy and then it's Christmas stuff and I hope that you for you, sleepy. If you know of any new types of food that we can try, I have a very limited palate, but we've done big ones, we're just cycling through their different meals, which, they, which is good because they always have new ones, but it would be cool to try something like I've never had pizzas before, now I have pizzas all the time, obviously with no cheese, oh god, actually to everyone except me, <laughs> he likes it, but it's cool to try new things, and different types of food, and try and get different triggers from it, I don't know what those things are called, like I said, that the mukbang uh, creatures, uh, have and uh, objects and things I have looked for it before but never seen seen it before so it would be awesome if uh, I could try I'd love to try that out one time and turn it into an ASMR video but something cool that looks real but I also see it's like rice cake whatever it is I don't know what it is but if you know what it is then by all means let me know but I only ever see it out in, in the states so Get it out. But anyway, like Fred, if you enjoyed your KFC, it seems to just be a destructive.
pieces, remains, chips, gravy, splatters everywhere, ketchup everywhere. But it was thoroughly enjoyed. So, hope that you found it relaxing. You drink a tingle, enjoyed it. And I know we haven't made one of these in a very long time. Okay, I'm gonna try and stop now. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.